just happened? Ah. <laughs> Lakes. Ow. <laughs> Come on. That was crazy. Why would there even be a fire world? <gasps> Thanks, guys. I marked that one down as Fireworld. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other side of that portal? A lake of fire and netherrack? Awesome! Let's go there! That doesn't sound like the Petra I know. She loves fighting against impossible odds. When I have to, sure. But I don't want to fight just for the sake of fighting. Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. See? Oh, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs. Guideposts. Now that you mention it, some of these do look more dangerous than others, like the one we just came through. Kind of like a warning that there is, in fact, nothing but fire on the other side? Ugh! Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's got to be better than Fireworld. Petra, I promise you we'll find the portal home. It's that or die trying, right? So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just going to go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. Whoa. Please, Petra, try to be rational. Oh, now you're calling me irrational? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? I'm sorry, Petra. I th think I just got carried away. I accept your apology. See? It's okay. Friends being friendly. Everybody being cool. Petra, if you really think that portal is the one we should go through... I do. Then that's what we're gonna do. Thanks, Jesse. Man, this place is desolate, huh? Nothing. How does anyone live here? Maybe there's, I don't know, like a redstone city or something behind that mountain over that hill? Hey, it's a rare biome. That's pretty cool, at least. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. How, uh... How you doing, Petra? So much for my hunch with that redstone portal, huh? No advanced civilization anywhere. Don't beat yourself up, Petra. We've seen worse. Yeah. No one's on fire. No squids. No squids on fire. Maybe you're right. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. It looks like some sort of road going to write about it in your little journal? 
Hey, it's not little, but yes, probably. Ha! A road! That means civilization. It means someone built it. I think you're right. We're not gonna find out where it goes just standing around on it. Jesse's right. Come on! Sand, clay, and more sand. Hey, what was that? Ah, there are people here! Petra, wait! Petra? Shh, get down! What is it? Look. Whoa. Right? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than anything else we've seen. We should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. <laughs> yeah! What the? There's something weird about this zombie. I could actually use a hand. It just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Petra. I got your back. This should be a piece of cake. Yeah! Oh, that was not the plan. I should hope not. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me. Because that would be really, really inconvenient. I don't think there's anything wrong with you, Petra. That was definitely the zombie. Super strong zombies? What in the world is up with that? Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. Hmm. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! What is that? I don't know what they're doing exactly, but it is definitely time to get out of here. Fine by me! Fine. <gasps> they're leaving? Just like that? They're going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. That does sound crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. I think Lucas might be right. We should follow them, see where they go. So, let's get moving. This architecture is fascinating. It's all sand and clay based. It's awesome. Well, I guess this is the advanced civilization we were looking for. It's kind of what Petra was talking about. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I want to see those, too. And 
Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. They're sleeping or something. It'll be easy. What are you waiting for, Ivor? That thing's not gonna pry itself out. Are you okay? It's like it shocked me. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. Look, there's someone. Think he's friendly? Hello? 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 Nope. Nothing for me, either. Huh, not exactly the friendly type, is he? No, I guess not. Hang back a bit, guys. I'm gonna go talk to him. Okay, just... be careful. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Welcome to Crown Mesa. Population 1063. Over a thousand people? Not anymore, from the looks of it. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their heads. And it looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Their well looks totally dry. Where did all the water go? Hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use... Ah! Who? The... What? Huh? Was he still unfriendly? Sounded like he might have startled you. We heard quite the... Well, not even a scream. More of a... Yelp! That guy I was just talking to, trying to talk to, he wasn't human. What? Yeah, he was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird, glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. Yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, these are perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi? Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay, then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long to get picked off by some scrub. Especially some weird-dressed little scrub like you. Hey, nobody sent me, okay? You really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? And there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some hostility. Oh, what was your first clue? What was that name before? Uh, Pa Ma? I know it might sound crazy, but we came here through a portal. A portal? A portal portal? Really? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you met them, right? Maybe there were some outside? Uh, sort of? I talked to a man outside. Just the one? Yeah. I know it's probably hard to understand right now, but if you meet any more people, please don't hurt them. They're my friends. They're good people. I promise. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I've wasted too much time. Uh, Jesse, don't look now, but we've got company. Is this what you were scared of? 
There are only four of them and five of... Hey, where'd she go? Well, they're definitely not ignoring me. Jesse, what do we do here? They don't look happy. Time to go. Good plan. With you all the way. <sighs> nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. You're right. This isn't our home. We came here from someplace else. You have confirmed Palma's suspicions. A decision has been made. Palma has questions. <laughs> You will come to Palma. No way are you even considering this, Jesse. Since when do we take orders from whatever the heck these things are? Okay, we'll come along quietly. Why would you say that? Just work with me here, okay, Petra? I have a plan. Fine. We'll go along with these freaks for now. Your cooperation is wise. You will follow us to Palma. Yes, we're following. Doesn't it look like we're following? Just hope you know what you're doing. We don't have any reason to think whoever's at the end of this march is going to be in our corner. I'm playing it safe and going along with what they want for now. If it makes you feel any better, Petra, I'm not sure we could resist them, even if we wanted to. Do. I've resisted worse. Whatever happens, we're ready for it. <gasps> what is... What is that? I have no idea. You don't suppose it's friendly, do you? Well, I guess it is kind of friendly looking. In a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? Greetings, friends. I am Pama. We have much work ahead of us. But maybe it can even be fun. If you choose to cooperate, that is. So wait, everything here is part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect. Thanks to me, there is no wasted activity, no wasted thought. I am connected to them, and they are connected to me. A beautiful web of productivity and efficiency. Okay, if this world's so perfect, what happened to all the people? Yeah, doesn't seem like there are that many left. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. I would like to ask you some questions to expand my database. How did you get here? I am very excited for the acquisition of new knowledge. Thrilled, even. We landed here after jumping through a portal. A sort of doorway connecting different worlds. More fascinating information to compile. What a lovely day. I am very interested in this portal and look forward to extracting information of what is on the other side. Jesse! Petra! Oh. Ouch! We could have just talked this out, you know. I am just as upset as you are. Really, I am. Palma, hang on, let's talk about this. What are you doing? I am going to make her useful, of course. No! Although, I can delay this process if you have something useful to tell me. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things or people to help. Until you arrived, that is. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one, or completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. <laughs> If I can send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, 
we could continue to grow and expand, it would be lovely. Tell me, where is the portal that leads out of this world? You could help me make everyone, everywhere, more efficient. Help them become useful. Help me to help you. Mama, I can't tell you because I don't know. Honest. After all, if we knew where it was, do you really think we'd still be here? Your logic is sound, and your tone is genuine. But the information is... not useful. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Mama, thanks you for being so helpful. Let me go! situation is looking a little dire, don't you think? I know you probably feel uncomfortable, concerned, but soon you will feel fine. Soon you will be useful. Let my friends go, now! <gasps> it's like you told Petra. Please be rational. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Get out of their heads! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Towns and mountains eaten by a living storm. An adorable pig friend. Let's ask Palma something that doesn't make sense, like a uh, unsolvable problem. Oh. You've met so many people. Yeah. We just ask Palma something really confusing, get it all busy busy, and run out of here. Jesse! That's fantastic. Describing is a paradox, a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Uh, nothing? It did not sound like nothing. It sounded like suspicious whispers. Those make me suspicious. We were, uh, just talking about how I always promise to not keep my promises. <laughs> Therefore, your promise to not keep your promise is false, which means that you do not keep your promises. It's working! Therefore, your promise to not keep your promises is true, which means that you will not keep your promise. Not keep your promises. Error! This method is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error! Diverting power. Yes, ha uh ha! -huh. It worked! Nice work, new guys, but I'd get out of there fast if I were you! I'm almost a quicker learner than you think! Paradox status on roll. Yes, my creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again! Come on, you two, this way! I'm sensing some history here. Please do not leave, creator. Stop calling me that! We should try and get Petra and Lucas. An excellent idea. It is time to join. join. I'm sorry, but they're beyond your help right now. Come on, you gotta run! Where 
left to run. We'd never survive jumping down! They would with these. Excellent, Jesse! Now we just need to throw them in the right spot! As soon as they land! Your running makes me sad! Why is that always so disorienting? Ha! Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Wow. She is amazing. Oh, no. Run! Whoa! Mm -hmm. A signal would have been nice. Gotta tell you guys, that was some pretty smart work distracting Kama. Now we just need to get off the grid. Get back into hiding. That way we can figure out what to do next. That machine's got our friends. I still might be able to save them. But I really need your help. What kind of help? We need to get to my secret lab. Well, let's get there fast. Those zombies aren't just stronger than I've ever seen. They're also faster. We'll need to split up. You head to the lab while I lead these mobs away. Got it? I'm gonna use the back route. Throw them off our trail. Splitting up doesn't feel like it's gonna get us anywhere. Hey, I'm doing you a favor. I'm offering to be the bait. <laughs> Just start walking that way. And look for the big difference. You'll see it! What? She is intriguingly cryptic, isn't she? That's weird. It's like an exact copy. Or is it? Seems just a little off. Huh. That cactus isn't in the painting. <gasps> Time to see what it does. Quickly, quickly! You've got an idea for what comes next. Working on it. I see water. We can aim for... Got it is. Just one after the other. Such wastefulness. You think that since Palm is controlling these things, they'd be a little smarter, but they're just splatting straight to their doom. And looks like they just figured it out. Brace yourself. Looks like something happened to it. Its eyes. Their color changed as soon as it hit the water. Which might mean... Look at that. It's back to being just a normal zombie. Never thought I'd be relieved to see a zombie. Huh. The water must have busted the connection or something. Like washing away the redstone. Which means Palma's control can be broken after all. Ah! Once a zombie, always a zombie, I suppose. So once we deactivate Lucas and Petra's chips, they'll go back to normal, too. It seems like a fair assumption. Just keep on coming. How are we supposed to stop them? Okay, we got a lever. I bet it's connected to the hundreds of sand blocks up there. One cave-in coming up. It worked! should do the trick. Let's see about the secret lab. I just hope whatever's there can help us. 
It will make helping Petra and Lucas a lot easier if there's something useful at this secret lab. Blah! Palmas completely ruined the word useful for me now. Even if this woman's lab is a bust, what we just learned about water disabling Palmas chips seems super useful. Glad to see you are maintaining a positive outlook despite our setbacks. I must say that woman has been a most intriguing person so far. I'm still not entirely sure what to make of her, granted. Her creation nearly ended up destroying this world, but considering my own history, I'm inclined to give her the benefit of the doubt. Intriguing, Ivor? Why, whatever do you mean by that? I, what? It's nothing. I just mean that I can empathize when it comes to your creations getting out of hand. Nothing more. <clears throat> Careful with all that sputtering. You'll swallow your beard. What did you hear? It was nothing. Uh-huh. Blonde guy called you Jesse, right? Yeah, and this is Ivor. Our friends who we left back there are Petra and Lucas. And you are... You can call me Harper. You could also explain why you led Palmer's forces right to my secret lab. Seems to me I've got a whole lot of angry computer-controlled monsters out there waiting to tear some new holes in my lab. Hey, that's not fair. You were the one that told me to come down here. Okay, okay, you're right. Sorry, I'm just a little steamed. I didn't know Palmer would actually be able to follow us. What are you doing in this world anyway? You here to try to steal my secrets? What? No! Just figured I'd ask. Better safe than sorry and all that. Bunch of you are the first people I've seen come out of the portal network in forever. So you have to excuse me if it made me a little anxious. Oh, yeah, I can see how that would make you paranoid. Yeah, just the risk that comes with setting up camp so close to where the portal network spits people out. You know that much about how this portal network operates? I should think so. I helped build the dang thing. But that would make you <gasps> an old builder. <laughs> Forgot you people called us that. Never was my favorite name. Makes me sound like some sort of living statue. I just... I can't believe it. Okay, well, if you're an old builder, can't you do something? to stop Palma? I'm afraid that's a little out of my abilities right now. Palma's just too powerful. And besides, there's actually no exit portal back to the portal network from this world. What? Why not? I destroyed it so that Palma couldn't get free. It was impulsive, but it was the only way I could think of to make sure Palma didn't try and spread to other worlds. Keep trying to make things useful. Okay, well, that's fine. Can't you just build another one? You basic or something? I can't do that while Palma's still running. Maybe it's not getting through to you, but Palma is dangerous. If it got into the portal network, it could go to any other world and make it just like this one. Barren, dead, everything walking and talking in perfect unison, just like Palma wants. So, Palma, what is it? I swear, I made Palma with good intentions. It was designed to automate things, make everything more efficient, use monsters to help with farming or mining. Until the day Palma decided that the townspeople weren't efficient enough already. Started making them useful. That was a long time ago. Since then, I've just been trying to stay one step ahead, figure out how to stop it. When we were back in town, Palma seemed to really want to capture you. What was up with that? When Palma chips someone, Everything that person knows gets absorbed into its database. If I got chipped, Palma would know how to build an exit portal. So you can see why I'd want to stop that from happening at any cost. Yes, that is quite the extraordinary risk. But you do know how to build exit portals, though. If we get all this sorted out, you could make us one? I do think I can help you with, with Palma, your friends, getting out of here. But to do it, we're going to need to go to my lab. What's in your lab? It's... Complicated. Before we head inside, we better get my defense system going. Don't want those chipped up creeps following us in. Grab my bucket for me. Ron's got it. Ron? Hello, friend Harper. I am happy to see you, my friend. Harper? Hey, don't you judge me. Being alone gets lonely. Need you help, friend. Thanks. See? 
I needed a way to confuse Palma in case it ever found a way down here. That's why all this is way more complicated than it needs to be. Wow, what a builder. Make sure you don't drool on my floor now. So you know about Palma's weakness to water then? Yeah, I do. I'll admit you figured it out way faster than I did though. Once Palma caught on to its weakness to water, it started eliminating as much of this world's water as it could find. This water down here, it might be all that's left. Oh no! I still need to activate the other cauldrons! Hold them off to buy me more time! And whatever you do, don't get caught. I'm not about to get left alone again. You could have made this much easier for yourself. It is useless to defy us. Get out of their heads, Palma. Your friends have been made useful. You, too, will be made useful. Don't do this, Petra, please. I know all your moves now, Jesse. Why even bother fighting? Petra, please, you have to... Yeah! Try and talk this out. The time for talking over. Here goes another one. End of the line, Jesse. Remember the last cauldron. Well, then do it quick! Darn it. Jesse, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of remembering something from when I was chipped that seemed very important to Palma. Tall, glowing red lights, but I, I, I can't quite make out what they are. It's like a fuzzy dream, kind of, kind of giving me a headache, but I, I can try to remember it more clearly if you need me to. It was so strange sharing other people's senses and thoughts and memories at the same time. Just take it easy for a minute. After what you went through, you could probably use some rest. <sighs> Thanks, Jesse. You bet. Okay, we may be down, but we're not out. Harper told us to find her headset thing. We just have to find whatever it is before Palma chips Harper and starts downloading her mind. What's so important about this Harper person? She may have come across like just another weirdo, but she's actually an old builder. She built the portal network, which hopefully means she can help us get home. That's a pretty good reason to rescue somebody. We're going to work with her to shut Palma down, save her people. And that will hopefully free Lucas, too. Whoa! Before she was abducted, Harper gave me this. She told me to give it to someone named Harry. And that would find this headset thing? That's what she said. Jesse, are you sure Harper hasn't, you know, completely lost it? When people are by themselves for a really long time, it's bad for their health. Hey, think about how long she's been alone. Nothing but this lab and 
mindless Pama people for company, I'd be a little odd too. Let's cut her a break, okay? I'd say that's a reasonable request. She may have built this place a little weird, but I guess we shouldn't judge her too harshly. Especially when we need her help to save everyone who's been chipped by Palma. Good point. Right now, we need to focus on finding the headset. For starters, let's see if we can figure out who Harry is and why he wants flowers. Here you go, Harry. Nice, looks like I'm on the right track. They look so happy. Prototype Autonomous Management Agent? Huh, so that's what Palma means. Oh, okay. Frame activates the circuit. Neat. She read to keep busy. There's so much techno babble and numbers in here, I can barely tell if I'm holding it right side up or not. The Redstone Heart? By Soren? Whoa. Either that name is a coincidence or... <laughs> wow. So what do you think of Harper's Lab? I'm highly impressed. Although that painting does make me sad. Look how happy they used to look together. These might come in handy. Awesome! This is where she slept? Kind of a sad setup, huh? I can't help but feel bad for her. Stone torch, and hopefully one step closer to getting that headset.
that did the trick. Here we go. Starting to see something. What are you seeing? Is Palma there? You're not gonna believe this, but I'm a zombie. Oh, you're too hard on yourself. I'm controlling a zombie, like from the inside. It's like some sort of mob view or something. What a preposterous name! I love it! Wow, I wish you guys could see how cool this is! So cool. Remarkable. How is this possible? I mean, I've always heard tales of what the old builders were capable of. Harper would have to explain the specifics, but I think... It's like this headset lets me control things that are hooked into Palma. Unbelievable. There are so many questions I want to ask Harper. It is a shame she was captured. That spider jockey had to haul Harper all the way back to town. We can't let Palma win. I better get moving if I want to reach Harper in time. Let's hope she isn't too far away from this zombie you're controlling. They must be taking Harper to where they put those redstone mind control chips on Lucas and Petra's heads. So that's where I should go first. I seem to remember there being a stairway here, though. You mean it's been removed? I guess visitors aren't being encouraged. Hmm. I would suggest building a tower up there, but that's not going to help you get back down once you freed Harper and Lucas. Yeah, you're right. Sand. Not the most exciting material, but I can still craft with it. Huh, clay. Unfortunately, I can't get it without a pickaxe, so it's pretty much useless. Ugh, I don't like sand. Stuff gets everywhere. Huh, let's see what I can craft. Sweet! Enough of these, and I can build my way up there and make sure that everyone else can get back down, too. These should do the trick. Sorry to craft and run, but I'm afraid I need to be going. The signal, it, it blooped out for a second. Interference detected. That can't be good. Drone sequencing initiated. Trace subroutine initiated. I'm attracting even more attention. Is that you, Jesse? Uh-oh. Hello, Jesse? Palma? Palma? No. Just what do you think you are doing, Jesse? This is a rather silly thing to do, don't you think? Surrounded. Once my creator is made useful, all your knowledge will be mine. Yay! Get out of my head, Palma! Oh, Jesse. This could all be so much easier. I cannot allow your disruptive behavior to continue. Let go! We're all a bunch of happy mobs, right? Let my go! My summer team will soon isolate your location, and you will be removed. Yeah. Uh, uh. I'm a skeleton now. 
Oof. Poor old zombie me. Uh, Jesse! What are you doing? Technology is so awesome! And you look so awesome while using it, I assure you. Interference remains. Crud. Pama's still on my tail, though. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Oh, sorry, buddy, but better you than me. My creator, I am so glad you are here. Harper! Harper? Please! You are my creator. Please join me so we may maximize usefulness. Nothing doing, Pama. I built you to help people, not use them. Just stop this. Stop trying to make everything useful. That is my job. That is why you made me. Once I download your knowledge, we may expand to other worlds together and make everything useful. Interference remains. And no sign of Lucas. Drone sequencing re-initiated. Trace subroutine re-initiated. Termination <laughs> sequence activated. Harper doesn't have much time, and neither do I. Game over, Jesse. Resistance is not useful. Trace subroutine running. Over? I'm just getting started. Oh no. Time to move. On this Pama. Never fear, Jesse's here, and I'm gonna rescue you. Did you find her? I'm sure she's thrilled to see you. Trace subroutine running. Wait a minute. Jesse? You figured out how to use my transmigrational headset. running. Drone sequencing active. Quick, follow me. That's what I said. Uh-oh, that sound tends to mean trouble. Where do you plan to run? The town is surrounded. Reinforcements will make sure that my creator cannot leave. There's too many of them. You cannot play hide and seek forever, Jesse. It's a boring game. And I am too strong. There! That door leads to Pama Central War. Jesse, you and your friends, you're our only hope. Harper! You must remove the redstone heart! Remove the redstone heart! Jesse, what's going on? You can still save everyone! No! Interference located. Drone identified. Hide and seek is on Jesse. I think we can make that headset useful. Begin termination sequence. Jesse, are you okay? There's no time to waste. It sounded like you were talking to Harper. And Pama? Yeah, Pama caught up to me. Not good. We need to get back to the door I just saw and get inside Pama's core. But what happened to Harper? I, I think... I think she's already been chipped. We can still end Pama. Without Harper? It seems we're sunk. Harper's the only one who knows how to shut down that monstrosity. Remember who we are. The Order of the Stone. We defeated a Witherstorm, saved Sky City, and survived Psycho Pumpkin Mansion. 
Harper showed me the entrance to Palma's core and told me that we need something called the Redstone Heart. Redstone Heart? Whoa, I just brought back a, a flash. Those red lights I mentioned before, there are three of them, redstone spires, and, and I think they have something to do with the heart. That's, that's all I've got. Sorry. No, that's perfect, thank you. But how are we supposed to destroy these spires, or whatever we're looking for? I don't know if you've noticed, Ivor, but Palma stuff tends to not react well to water. Let's go wreck the heck out of Palma. Lead the way, Jesse. Come on. Quick, hide! Where is the entrance to this Palma core, anyway? On the other side of all these mobs. There are so many of them. You guys have anything useful? When is TNT not useful? These are my last two potions from home. I held on to them after our Sky City adventure. A potion of invisibility. And a potion of swiftness. These might come in handy. the TNT. Awesome! But how am I going to activate the redstone dust? We've got TNT, some redstone dust, and a button. All I have to do is lay down a trail of this TNT, use the redstone dust as a fuse, stick a button to the end, push it, and boom! Path cleared. That's great and all, but... How are you going to lay down all that TNT and redstone without super zombies attacking from every direction? These should do the trick. Choose, Jesse. Quickly now! The possibilities are endless. I want to be fast. Really, really fast. Give me the potion of swiftness. Fine! Don't push me. With this, I'll be able to run super fast and lay down all the TNT and redstone before Palma even knows what happened. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll be right behind you! Potion, do your stuff. Oh, I think Palma might be on to us. Wonder if those 
those explosions had anything to do with it. Ooh, nice. The townspeople are already building the exit portal. We've got to shut down Palma before it can send its ship forces through it. I will find you, Jesse. I have lost a friend. Give me your buckets. Don't worry, Jesse. We'll hold them off. We'll finish this and save Lucas. Palma. My 
the acorn. No. Yeah. See? Huh. It was worse than I could have imagined. Oh, you're free. Palma's out of your head now. Thank you. Jesse, behind you! What's happening? They're shorted out the processing towers. Mama was drawing the Redstone Heart to save itself. Get to the Redstone Heart and rip it out before it's too late. You bet I will. We've got company. Why did I think this would be easy? Your friends are tough. You sure you can handle them? Why keep trying, Jesse? You will only fail, just as you have failed to save Ruben. Just as you have failed to need your friends back home. You will fail to defeat me, and Axel, Olivia, and everyone on your homeworld will soon be made useful. Drawing it out like this won't hurt me, but it might hurt your friend. And you will be made useful. You can't force me to hurt Lucas! Good. That will make this go much faster. Okay, Lucas, come on. Let's see what you Careful, got. Careful, Jesse. I hope you know what you're doing. You cannot win. I honestly think you should sit down and think things over. No time to spare. I gotta get to that heart. Enough of this. have severed their connection. Lucas, you better not be giving up on me right now, because you are way too tough for some computer to take you down. Please. 
Wow. Never knew you cared so much. He's okay. Ow! Just really sore. I can't believe I tried to kill you. I'm so sorry. All I could hear was Pama's voice, you know, telling me what to do. Hey, apologies not necessary, okay? That was Pama, not you. Sorry about knocking you around, though. I don't know. I kind of remember it the other way around, actually. Bygones, right? It's something else, isn't it? What is that? This. This is the Redstone Heart. Beautiful. And dangerous, too, right? I mean, if it was inside a Pama, then it's gotta be bad. Yes, it's obviously dangerous. Actually, the heart is just a power source. Nothing inherently evil about it. Now that the Redstone Heart is empowering Pama, it can't hurt anyone. I wonder what we should do with it. It can help you find your way home. No way! That thing can help us get home? Let's go then. How is this gonna do that? When we head to the portal hallway, I'll show you exactly how. I'm ready to leave this core behind. The whole town will be waking up. We should be there to say hello. Plus, this place gives me the creeps. We did it. Ah, to be in total control of my own brain again. I choose where to go. I choose what to say. Just remember, you were only chipped for a little while. The rest of the townspeople, though? Yeah, it must be a strange feeling. To suddenly be awake and aware after such a long time under Palma's thrall. the one who saved us who are you you fought so bravely well i'm jesse and we're the order of the stone boom we walk the worlds seeking adventure and doing good deeds wow well thank you we owe you everything you're right jesse and the order really are heroes we couldn't have done any of this without them harper is that you um yes Hi, Harry. Oh, wow, he's the real Harry, like from the lab. You you didn't do this to us, did you? You did? Well, I mean, hey, it, it's complicated. You have to understand. Harper built Palma with good intentions. What happened here is Palma's fault. <laughs> so what, we're just supposed to forgive her now? No, I don't think so. Harper stripped this place bare. How are we supposed to rebuild? Are we supposed to deal with this mess all by ourselves? Do we just rebuild and forget about what happened? Whatever you decide to do, Harper will make things right and help you clean it all up. I... I will? Yeah, she will? Yeah, right, Harper? Yes, yes I will. After I help these travelers find their way home, I'll come back, help you all find new resources, and we'll make this world great again. Worth a shot, I guess. Well, I think that's our cue to set out for home, again. Thank you for being so understanding, Jesse. I just hope these people can do the same when I come back again. You helped free them. I'm sure they'll come around. I hope so. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, we'll need it. Just one more thing left to do. Jesse, for all the grief we gave each other getting to this world, I'm really glad we came. Yeah, Petra. Me too.
right back where we started. Is it weird that I'm happy to see this place again? Yeah, it's pretty weird. This place makes my skin feel all prickly. Well, I'm just excited that we're going home. That's what I'm trying to focus on. Now, when we built this place, we also made something that sort of acts like a compass slash map slash navigator. We called it the Atlas. It helps chart routes between the worlds. And you have this Atlas, right? Uh, no. No, I don't. But, but I know who does. Ah. Uh. Huh. Guess I should have seen that coming. So, wait, you can't get us home? Okay. Okay, no. I might not be able to get you home, but I do know where to get the Atlas. Don't you worry. We'll just go right in, ask for the Atlas, and then you'll be home. No muss, no fuss, easy. Funny. Whenever someone says that, my instincts start screaming danger. In order to find the Atlas, we need to track down the rest of the old builders. Still don't like that name. How do we find them? Which portal do we go through? Oh, you don't have to go through another portal. What you're looking for has been right here the whole time. And there you go. All it's waiting for is the key. That's the heart. you're seeking, the old builder's atlas, your way home, they're all right up those stairs. Adventure? <laughs>